I've never seen a storm body kit this color. You're gonna love it. Golf Carding TV is your inside source for the coolest upgrades, mods, and accessories to take your trusty golf cart from drab to fab. Hey, and welcome back to Golf Carding TV. My name is Matt White with Converted Carts. Thrilled to have you back here today, and we're excited for our guest today, Chris, who has a sweet storm body that he has custom painted in a color that I have never seen before on a golf cart. So I'm excited to share this with you. It's on an old EasyGo TXT, and he has made this thing just look awesome. It's got another little surprise too that I think you're gonna like. Well, let's jump in. Hey, so I'm here today with Chris. We are looking at his uh, EasyGo TXT. So Chris, why don't you just tell us a little bit about where this cart started and maybe a little about what you've done to it. So this started as a 1996 EasyGo TXT. Uh, it was generously part of my uh, Christmas bonus. Uh, it was a rotten shell that my boss had out in the back of the lot. Um, so I drug it inside, stripped it all down, did my rust repair, uh, started kind of piecing it together little by little, uh, getting, getting everything together, trying to figure out what I wanted as I went. And, uh, you know. So you've got a storm body on the outside here? Yep, yep, so I got the storm body. I was lucky enough to get the new harness. So it's got the RGB, uh, headlights. Um, I cut out the grill, made a custom grill insert, smoothed all the plastics, color matched the plastics. I've got the storm fender flares, color matched the fender flares. Um, and tell me again what this color is exactly. This is Nissan's Midnight Purple 3. So it's uh, transitions from blue to purple to gold. Uh, if you get it in the right sun, it's really, really vibrant. Very cool. And tell me about these fancy wheels. So those are the uh, Mods Assassins 14 by 10s. I have those wrapped around uh, with the Steelings uh, 20 by 14 by eight and a half. Uh, I got those kind of didn't really belong together, but I made it work uh, after some fight. <laughs> and what kind of lift you got on it? Uh, it's actually stock ride height, so that's a factory TXT oh, okay. uh, front axle. Uh, I did a little bit of extension shackles in the rear to just kind of level it out a little bit, but luckily I'm able to put those wide wheels and 20-inch tires on there with absolutely no rubbing. Uh, I could go full lock, no rub, got the whole family on there. Nice. Which is perfect. Nice. And tell me about the seats. Uh, the seats are the mod skins. Those are the, I call them peanut butter. Um, you know, front and rear, those are just the, the replacement uh, covers that go over the factory. So you just cover what was there already? Yeah, yeah. You pull the, uh, we pull the factory vinyl off and rewrap nice. it, replace the wood board if need be. Very and, cool. Uh, I've also, we did, got one of those, uh, Farben Kyber dashes, and I sanded that down and color matched it. Uh, I actually originally painted it to match the seats, trying to bring it together, and it looked awful, so I just, <laughs> I just went color matched. Uh, got the Triton sound bar uh, with our in-house sound bar bracket. So this is really, we love doing this because it uh, keeps the center of gravity way down low. You get the music in your head versus in the back of your head. Um, reduces the roof wiggle out of sight you know it's great these got great sound they've got the rgbs in them as well Let's see bit, 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 bit. that's yeah, you cool get it. yeah and you said so i know uh you guys have this so this is something you guys have put together this whole bracket system for yep. a front end piece and like you said it on the struts there to make it stay on there nice and tight yeah, that's so cool. You get the music in your face like you want. Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, tell me, let's lift up underneath and see what you got inside. A little bit of a mess, but it's all right. I uh, went with the 70 volt Eco. Uh, it's the 105 amp hour. Um, great battery, plenty of power. Uh, 
I got that in, in with the Navitas as well. So the stock ride height cart, I'm capable of 45 miles an hour wow. uh, just cruising. I know I did a, I can get at 35 miles an hour, probably around 50 miles of range out of this thing. If I kick this thing up to 45 miles an hour, I'm probably going to get about 15 miles. So yeah. it really uh, takes it out. But man, just being able to keep up with traffic and right. not impede is just helps me enjoy this cart just leaps and bounds. So originally, uh, when I first got it together, it was the just all stock lead acid with freedom unlock mode limited to 20. And I even hated driving around on my my little side streets, you know, it was, it was just awful. Then I switched to Navitas, got to 33, made things a little better. But now I can run on main streets, passing people. And it's just, that's awesome. It was a lot nice. Yeah, I just recently put a Navitas controller on mine and it, it's up to like 26, 27. And just that makes a huge difference oh, from yeah. the 20 or whatever it was before. Yeah, yeah. Are we able to see up under here from what you did at all? A little bit. So these are extended shackles. So these are plus two shackles. And that just, uh, when I got everything together, it leveled it out, gave it a little bit more uh, room in the rear wheel wells when I get some people in the back. But yeah, not too much to see. Just cleaned up the chassis, cleaned up the rear end, painted yeah. all that. <coughs> got my plate, you know, the nothing really see shotgun yeah. shells for some reason <laughs> um and i've got this thing lit up with underglows all over the place so i've got underglows under the dash and this underneath the seats in the compartment all underneath the cart in the wheel well so at night this thing really lights up real bright um, yeah we'll drop in some photos of it too that you sent over that makes it look really nice with all the flare on it it's very cool so tell me a little bit about the building process. Obviously you work on carts, you work here at Glen's Golf Car Central and uh, do things like this, but what were some of the, what were some of the challenges or stuff that you, you faced getting, making things happen here? When, when your options are limitless, it's even harder to narrow down exactly what you want. Um, when I first started here, shortly after that, Mike, told me about the storm body and showed it to me i was like oh my god we have to get our hands on this he's like i've had them i've had a dozen on pre-order so immediately i knew i was getting the body um you know it was, it was pretty much just what we had at hand uh again the the color was my biggest hang up on this because i'm an auto body technician by trade and you know i there's so much beautiful colors to choose from. You know, a lot of people, they want Nardo Gray, which is shiny primer and with endless uh, choices. That's just not something I wanted to go with. So I went with something really unique. Um, I just kind of slowly kind of pulled it apart, let it sit for a year, clean up some rust, let it sit for another year. Uh, and then we had a little break for Christmas, so I took about two weeks and I just hammered everything out, put it all together, uh, and then that kind of made it a basic cart and then started my upgrades as uh, they came available to me. And what's your favorite thing about the cart? I think the wheels, man. The wheels are just great. They're so deep, they're shiny. Um, you know, you get it in the sunlight, it just bounces in there, refracts all into the barrel. Yeah. It just looks great, and uh, you know, I, I'm not too. I've always drove real, real crappy $1,500 cars, so this is worth more than any vehicle I've ever owned combined. Um, but you know, I'm I'm all about drivers, so you know, you can see the wheels. I got them all curbed up. That's that's part of it, man. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna baby something. So I go I go out and whip this thing around with no regard. That's fun. Oh, Very another, cool. Another thing. Yeah. Uh, so I also upgraded the, uh, the shift knob. So this was the shift knob. Uh, one of the first ones that I saw. Nice. Uh, that, that when Nivelle came out with them. So I put that in there too. So throws me off when I hop in the, uh, the X-Series carts. I always turn it the wrong way because it's on the dash. 
Well, it looks great, and it's cool that you've got the lights set to purple. I know it's, like you said, kind of in the in the light. You can't see specifically, but that looks... Yeah, and I also... Looks uh, very cool. When I got this light kit, of course, brand new stuff. We can't leave nothing alone, so split the headlights and actually color match the uh, headlight bezels to the uh, body as well. So got it's a little it. thing that not too many people notice, but it's something that... I've always kind of wanted to do, and I was like, all right, well, let's ruin my new headlights that I can't replace. <laughs> very cool. Awesome. Well, Chris, thank you very much for uh, taking us around, giving us a little tour, and thank you for coming nice, out and seeing us. You've done a nice job. This is really cool. <laughs>